I've chosen well, it seems. Now place the book unto the Analogia to seal our union. I said that I've traveled for a reason. And it's not to be your obedient wife. I will rule hell all by myself.
So that's the whole story. Whoever saw it are saying lots of things. They say it was possible to look into hell itself at those crossroads. That is how Vasilisa disappeared. But then, at the old church in Piantiek, a certain icon painter started living there. What was his name? Petrovich, was it? It was after the Red Army came. He started working on that icon. Something to do with hell. So he draws this icon, and there's a wench sitting instead of Satan on the throne. Then they showed the icon in Vilgert, and they recognized her there. The spitting image of Vasilisa, I swear it. And what of our Uyezd? You know yourself, I think. In Vilgert, life was difficult back then. Even now, it isn't an earthly paradise, you know. The Reds destroyed the church. There was this famine. Oh, I hate to remember that. Friends of Vasilisa? I know all about them. Petka began hunting different chorts and the Kaldoons that remained. Started smoking them out. I know about Akulina as well. She wanted to be a witch like Vasilisa, but then there was no time for sorcery. Married Petka. They lived well. Fyodor changed his life for the better. Went to Perm and played in the Opera House Orchestra. Had talent, that one. Nikolai lived well with his chort of a wife for a long time. Even the Soviets didn't hurt them, as if they had some kind of Zagavur protecting them. Proshka disappeared. Ugh, cats, what can you do? When that nobleman died, his things were auctioned off. His mansion remains abandoned to this day. It is said that it is haunted, and that the nobleman returns there from time to time. And Igor? Igor became even more of a lone wolf than before. It is said he remained a Kaldun, but lost his power along with his teeth. He died alone. Some sickness got him, it seems. And so, that is the whole story. Everyone here remembers it well to this day. Do they believe it? Ah, uh, I don't know what to believe myself. Time. Time flies, you know. It's not the same as it used to be in the days of old. I'm glad I told you all this before I forgot it. My, but it is late. It's time to say farewells. <laughs>